the point when Lexus appeared its axle grille on the GS and trademarked the plan in 2012, it was a certain sign the look was staying put. It began advancing through the lineup, and now five model years after the fact, it's on all Lexus vehicles. The one thing everybody would all be able to concede to is, it's strong. What's more, Lexus has multiplied down on the plan with the LF1 Limitless concept in plain view at the Detroit Auto Show. A few people unquestionably barely bat an eyelash at the prospect of the grill. Others have likened it to a tune character, a whiskers trimmer, or a baleen whale gathering up grill. In one cruel, maybe fanciful feedback, an outline educator is said to have compared the axle to the mouth of the main seeker outsider in the Predator motion pictures. In a considerably more respecting space fairing correlation, our anti cotonan said the grill of the LF1 Limited concept copies a Star Wars ship's work day into hyperspace. That is a fitting similarity for the staggering and advanced LF1, which may be the absolute most significantly styled vehicle at the North American International Auto Show. Several years back, Toyota boss originator, and head of Lexus, Takuo Fukuichi guarded the axle in a Reuters talk with, saying hot was an objective of the outline, and rejecting grievances by saying, notwithstanding polarizing plans, you get used to them sooner or later. That barrier was a while, three years, after the new look caused a mayhem at a 2012 Toyota investors gathering, where a few investors whined. Presently it has been a while longer, and a Lexus official says the shaft grill has kept on isolating Lexus clients. Jeff Bracken, Lexus Assemble VP and General Director, told Carbuzz on the sidelines of the Detroit Indicate a week ago that long-lasting rehash clients still can't get their heads around whatever it is the auto is by all accounts getting its mouth around. I'll be extremely straightforward. It's our Mark Grill. Some of our models have a more expressive Mark Grill than others. The people that take a gander at it as to some degree polarizing would be, generally, the people that have been with us since the start. Truth be told I'll accept telephone calls from some of these proprietors and will actually burn through 45 minutes to an hour on the telephone with me simply communicating how frustrated they are, Bracken said. Bracken has really been stating nearly precisely the same about the grill for a considerable length of time, both to disturb clients and to car riders, for instance, to Forbes in 2014. Be that as it may, his say of I'll accept calls in this most recent statement appears to demonstrate it's as yet going on. It gives me a chance to clarify why we're going down this way, the site cites Bracken as saying. I comprehend your worry. It's an exceptionally deliberate and vital proceed onward our part. On the off chance that we lose some of our conventional proprietors, it's agitating for us however won't block us from moving down this way. We want to acquire then we lose. We would prefer not to lose anyone, however. Lexus aim with the new plan heading was to pull in new clients as the extravagance purchaser statistic began to skew more youthful. Our, past, picture had been that of a maker of astounding extravagance vehicles for quite a long time. Be that as it may, that wasn't sufficient to keep us significant. It was essential that we created brilliant extravagance vehicles as well as that must be restless regarding styling and forefront innovation. Also. Obviously the grill looks better on a few autos in the lineup dash, for example, the general dazzling LC500, the multi-organized cross-breed adaptation is Autoblog's technology of the year auto. Did the outline fill its proposed need? Did Lexus acquire then we lose? Lexus deals in the United States developed by 40% in the vicinity of 2012 and their crest in 2015. Yet, from that point forward, deals have fallen by 11%. What we don't know, and maybe no one but Lexus can, is, did some more seasoned clients deny their dependability to Lexus and purchase a German extravagance auto? Were picks up in new clients enough to legitimize any loss of old ones? Did clients, either picked up or held, purchase a Lexus in light of any number of good reasons, the brand's quality, highlights, innovation, or the way it holds its esteem, while holding their nose about, the nose? numerous greater elements, including extraordinary arrangements on extravagance autos falling off leases and Americans' affection for pickups, have affected the extravagance brands. The general group in the car showcase, particularly, and the ascent in extravagance SUV deals has Lexus hoping to recapture that lost ground by bringing an extra SUV into its lineup, so Jeff Bracken and different Lexus metal are anxious to get the LF1 into creation. Also, 
until further notice, in idea shape at any rate, the LF1 has an axle grill. So Bracken's telephone won't not quit ringing at any point in the near future, but rather Lexus may offer a ton of LF1s notwithstanding.